Hey guys, we're back. Now wash the dishes, bitch. Are you sure you want to continue the story? Your party will be disbanded. I guess. That's what I like to hear. You should study up and surprise your father with your genius when he gets back. Do I have to? Sure thing. Hurry back, Dad. We miss you. Yeah, we miss you. All right, this could be the last 30 minutes of today's stream, guys. So I figure it's a good time to get started on the story. With the help of the Dragon Balls, Krillin and the others felled in battle are brought back to life. And the now planetless Namekian is transported to a new planet to call home. Yes, when Dr. Willow wants to fight Roshi because he still thinks Roshi is the strongest alive. Exactly. And instead of actually fighting him, he makes himself into a giant a mech. and a half had passed since the fight with the dreadful Frieza. But there was still no sign of Goku returning to Earth. The world had entered a period of peace. That peace, however, was to be short-lived as a new threat was rapidly approaching the planet. Is this a new threat? A new old threat? You don't need to show this. Again. To anybody that's never played Dragon Ball or watched Dragon Ball, you just spoiled a whole bunch of shit. Good, good, good job. Oh, everyone's here already. In instantaneous transmission. I think you just mean the instant transmission. Oh. oh. You felt it too, right? It's Frieza. And someone else with enormous power like his. Yeah, kind of hard not to notice. There's no way we're going to miss a massive energy reading like that. This can't be good. Do you really think it's Frieza? Well, sure seems like it. They'll know we're here if you don't quit your foolish babbling and lower your power levels. They have scouters, after all. The Namekian's already lowered his. At least one of you is smart. Piccolo! They're here! <laughs> Over there, it's Frieza. It's gotta be. I can't believe he's still alive. Now, hold on. I think there's someone else with him. Do not fly there. Got it? We can avoid scouter detection by simply walking up to the. You, you guys have actually fought against someone with this much power. You, you gotta be kidding me! What are we supposed to do once we get close to him? Who the fuck is Yamcha? Oh, he's right there. You'd rather stay back here and My eyes are not working there. Suit yourself. All of us know what we're up against. Just to be perfectly clear, Earth is completely done for. <laughs> this, this <can't> be happening. <laughs> Thanks, Vegeta. Here's Bulma. This is her outfit in this arc. I'm not really a fan of this this look for Bulma. I mean, the dress is okay, but the uh, the hair I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of that hairstyle. Quick call to the cable company. Awesome. He could that Frieza guy. I never got a chance while we were on Namek. Oh no! What are we going to do? So, this Frieza guy he's really that tough, huh? You were acting all confident before, now you're scared. Get out of here, Chelsea. I don't remember you being here. You actually held your own against someone that powerful? I saw it with you then. Damn that Kakarot. Why didn't he finish that bastard off? How in the world did Frieza survive? I to think we're going up. Oh, ah, fuck. I forgot to do the training. Can I go do it now? Actually, I might be able to. Everyone here? Like there's nothing up ahead. Frieza should be dead. First, we'll move in. On foot, of course. Alright. Let's go see Frieza. Man, the closer we get, the heavier the air seems to get. We're almost at his ship. 
Are you sure you're ready for this? Y yes. Look, it's Robo Frieza. So this is Earth. I've seen worse hunks of rock. It seems this Super Saiyan Goku you keep going on about is set to arrive here in three hours. So you intend to wait for him, Frieza? Why, of course, Father. But I want him to suffer for what he did to me, so I think I'll slaughter every last one of his beloved Earthlings. I couldn't care less about the Earthlings, but we do absolutely need to rid ourselves of that Super Saiyan. By any means necessary. I think I like his other voice. Hmm. And what brings you here, Earthling? I'm here to kill you. Ah, oh, man! A mysterious savior from the future. What? Why would you call it that? What's that now? You're here to kill us, you say? Hmm. Yeah, I don't like that either, Imagine. Twisted Canuck. Sir. Definitely feels like a throttling thing, if they could just fix it. Well now, it seems you've got some skill. Right? Come at me with everything you've got. So, unlike Goku, I won't take it easy on you. Goku. Oh, I see. So you're an ally of his. <laughs> Never met the guy. Only know him by name. Oh dear. You do realize that killing my men puts you in grave danger, do you not? Now I have to kill you myself. You miscalculated. A miscalculation? Oh, I beg to differ. Wiping you and the rest of the filth from this planet would be child's play. That's not what I meant. You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. And I'm not talking about Goku. There's another one right here. Woohoo! Prepare to die! The only one dying here is you. Seventy-seven thousand. Ah, oh, that's the robot they added to his voice. Oh, I still got him. What? I'm already in tension, okay. Come on, Eleven, you got this. So, in Ner Naruto Shippuden spoiler, stop listening for a sec. There's an episode where they call it, Gara Dies. How is this like, why would you call it that? Mysterious youth from the future. Okay, thanks. A slightly less damage. Impossible. But he did die. He absolutely did die. They just brought him back using Chio. 
No, he didn't. The powers, they're both gone. What in the world is going on? Chio Basama restored his life. Well, one way to find out. Wait, do we get to fight King Cole? Can I? Cannot go to the wall dive right now. Thanks, Bob. I'm standing right here. I don't know why you called me. He killed Frieza in the blink of an eye. Wait a sec. You mean that wasn't Goku just now? He saved the Earth. I don't believe it. That power is beyond anything I've ever imagined. Gonna go eat Dinden. No, you're not allowed. If it's not Goku. Then who is he? You have to stay and watch the real Super Saiyan, and he wasn't talking about Goku. He finished Frieza off almost instantly. Who is he? Wait a sec. You mean that wasn't Goku just now? See you later, Christine. That's impossible. Dad? No, it doesn't seem like it. Keep your guard up. We don't know who we're up against. Right. I'm gonna head over there and wait for Goku. You're more than welcome to join me. What? what? How does he know about my dad? He's gonna show up right over there. If you're coming, then follow me. <laughs> what do we do? Uh, I'm... I'm gonna follow him. I get angry. Yeah, me too. I'm going to find out who this creep is. E, go eat, Christine. I will chat with you later if you want. <laughs> Yamcha brings down the overall strength of the group just being there. He adds negative value. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. No clue who this guy is. But he seems legit. I think so too. Yeah, he seems legit. Maybe it's someone Goku met on some faraway planet. But he seems like he knows Earth pretty well. True. If Goku actually does show up like this guy says, then we might get more answers. Maybe it's someone Goku met. Okay, so talking True. to Chelsea just does the same thing. Goku actually does show Damn up. Damn him. He won't stop staring at me. What the hell is this problem? He's starting to piss me off. <laughs> he had to have been a Super Saiyan if Goku's as strong as this kid. Then he's at a completely different level. My niece is being weird. She he wants something. Like bad dude, but I'd still keep up my guard. It, it'll be okay, Yamcha. Maybe. How do you think he knows Goku is going to come here? Ah, uh, he and Yana Goku got into a fist fight one. She knows she wants food, child doesn't stop eating. So, how do you know my dad? Well, I've only heard about him. I haven't had the privilege of actually meeting him yet. Oh, uh, really? So, hey, how do you know when Goku's coming back? Well, um, I'm afraid I can't tell you that. I'm sorry. So, can I ask, you were a Super Saiyan when you beat Frieza earlier, weren't you? How did you do that? Unfortunately, I can't tell you that either. Sorry. What's your name? Uh, that too. You can't even tell us your name? Well, what about your age? I'm 17. So you can tell us your age. But that's all I can tell you. I really am sorry. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You saved the Earth after all. It'll sure. be another three hours before Goku gets here. So please, just hang tight a little bit longer. Three hours later, during that time, he tells Vegeta that he likes his shirt. He should be here soon. She's watching some Japanese anime, no English in it at all. No English subs, nothing. So she's just watching the raw? Alright. I was gonna be here. 
Yeah, they cut out the pink shirt scene. This young man here clued us in. Who is he? You mean you don't know who this is at all? Nope, never seen him before. That reminds me, who took care of Frieza and the others? That was some crazy energy. We've got him to thank for that as well. He made quick work of them by becoming a Super Saiyan. A Super Saiyan? Goku, I need to speak with you. In private, if you don't mind. With me? Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, what's the big deal? You gonna keep us in the dark? Your wife's mad at you for it? Why is she mad at you? Just hang tight for a bit, okay? That's weird. Let her be into what she's into. If it wasn't dinner, there was always a drawer full of apples in the fridge. Take one whenever you want. That's a good idea. Goku's Super Saiyan transformation is now available. Talk to him. Spirit Bomb level 2. A super warrior is born. Hey, you got Kyle Kendall 3 now. You only lose key when you use or lose key when you use Super Saiyan, but uh, if with Kyle Ken you gain you lose HP. I think I prefer the key. Oh, that's pretty decent. Ninja Scrolls, your favorite anime? Because there's dot dot. That's that's fine. Like let your kid be what she's into. I'm pretty sure they said he could turn into a Super Saiyan as well. Okay, let's see what he has to say. Just who is that guy? I've been watching uh, Made in Abyss, I need and are you able to become a Super Saiyan at will? And um, Yu-Gi-Oh Arc V. Yeah, I mean I couldn't at first, but I can control it pretty good now. That's great. Now I have to ask. Would you mind transforming for me now? You got it. This good? So, what now? Now, I'll become a Super Saiyan too. Whoa! And I'd like you to fight me, and I won't go easy. Fine by me. Okay. Yeah, that's, you can't force that. Yeah, that was a good move. Look at that, 40,000, 400,000 EXP, and Goku up to 38. Amazing. You're just as good as I'd heard. Put him back in his capsule and send him home. No. Better even. Okay. I'll tell you everything. But please, 
It's important that you make sure not to tell anyone else what I'm about to tell you. Gotcha. Don't worry. Talk away. Your secrets are safe with me. It might be difficult to believe what I'm about to say, but I've come here from 20 years into the future using a time machine. The, the future? 20 years from now? My name is Trunks. I'm Vegeta's son. What? Vegeta's son? Actually, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. I'm going to be born two and a half years from now, but that's not why I came here. There's something much more important I need to tell you. So huh? Oh, right. Three years from now, on May 12th, at around 10 a.m., two incredibly powerful figures will appear on an island five and a half miles southwest from South City. Who are they? Are they aliens? No. They're androids. Created right here on Earth. They were created by a mad scientist from the former Red Ribbon Army named Dr. Giro. The Red Ribbon Army? That's right. The same one you took down many years ago. Oh, yeah. When I was just a little guy. I thought I got rid of those guys a while ago. Like back when I beat up their boss. Unfortunately, Dr. Giro survived and continued his research. So, what's he after? World domination or something else crazy? I'm not entirely sure, but it's possible that was his end goal. But his androids were designed to be killing machines. And they eventually turned on their creator. Meaning, the androids were free to kill and destroy to their heart's content. It's been just me against the two of them. I struggled to make it out alive. Wait. What happened to everybody else? They're gone. 20 years from now, I'm the only fighter left. In the fight, three years from now, my father over there, Krillin, Piccolo, everyone is killed. Only Gohan managed to make it out alive. He taught me how to fight four years before I came here in the time machine. As you know, with Piccolo gone, the Dragon Balls could no longer be used, meaning we couldn't bring anyone back once they were killed. The androids' unquenchable lust for bloodshed eventually turned the world into a nightmarish hellscape. They're too strong. Nothing can take them down. Hey, wait, hold up a sec. What about me? They didn't kill me too, did they? Even you couldn't join in the fight. Not too long from now, you'll fall prey to a severe heart virus. What? Well, this is a pickle. I'm guessing sensu beans won't work, huh? Man, this sucks on so many levels. I can't believe I'm gonna die in such a lame way. I really wanted to fight those guys. Y you're disappointed you can't fight them? Aren't you scared? Well, yeah, I'm scared. But you said they're crazy strong, right? Of course I want to fight them. I see. <laughs> same, same type. You really are a true Saiyan warrior, aren't you? Here, when you start to see symptoms, take this. It's a medicine developed 20 years from now. It should keep you alive. Whoa, really? Awesome, thanks. Normally, history shouldn't be changed. But I've got to do whatever I can to prevent those atrocities from coming to- My mother always spoke very well of you. She knew you'd help us. That's what pushed her to complete the time machine. Wait, your mother? She knows who I am? Yes, she knows you well. Wait, you said she built a time machine. Isn't that right? And the only person I know who can do that is... No way! Your mom isn't... Yes, she's right over there. Whoa! Bulma? Out of all the stuff you just told me, that's gotta be the craziest! I thought she'd stick with Yamcha. To think she'd end up with Vegeta of all people, I mean, it just makes no sense. <laughs> so funny that Vegeta fucking kills Yamcha, basically, he using the Cybermen, and then cocks him <laughs> Bulma. Uh, please, make sure not to tell anyone. <laughs> Yamcha gets it so bad. ...who I really am. If you do, well, I, uh, might never be born. Oh, yeah, right. Mum's the word. Well... I'd better get going back to my own time. 
I need to let my mother know how everything went here. Hey, are we gonna see you again? Making a round trip in the time machine requires a lot of energy, so it'll take some time. If I can survive until then, I'll definitely come back to lend my support three years from now. Stay alive. What a great new goal. Now I'm gonna start training extra hard for the next three years. Hey, we got trunks. Why is he already silver? All right, so he's a Z fighter. But he's also good for train. I I'm going to put him on the training board. Eee, look at that. Some stuff to pass out. Well... Now I just gotta figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. Hey, hey, Goku. We just saw that guy take off. Where did he go? Oh, uh, uh, him? Yeah, he, uh, I, I guess you could say he went back home. Went back home? So, just who is this guy? Uh, he, um, he, uh, well, he's... Hey, isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? You mean you heard? My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. Relax, all right. I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. We're not going in unprepared. If we die, it won't be for lack of skill. Wait, die? What are you saying? On the hunt for the androids. Piccolo, explain the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunks' identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say about the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight. Androids, huh? Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot. Spill it. How did you get off planet Namek alive? Right. We've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. Yeah. For a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship. That's right. The Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? Yep. They were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. <laughs> it's called instant transmission. Huh? Instant, instant transmission? Yep, instant transmission. The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? That's not much of a downside, if you ask me. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> all right. I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. So when and where should we meet? The androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at 9. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. We're not going to babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Kakarot, you may be a Super Saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Don't forget that the number one Saiyan here will always be me. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll see each other in three years. Nope, they're, they cut that bit out. Don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. All right, we better get going. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> sure, sounds good to me. Yay! <laughs> I get to train with Mr. Piccolo again. All right, see you guys soon, or in three years. Right. 
We're making a stop home first. Right, Dad? Mom's been waiting for you. Oh, yeah, right. Guess I'd better get some FaceTime in with Chi-Chi, huh? Piccolo, is it okay with you if we do that? Fine, but don't waste too much of our time. <laughs> you hear that, Yamcha? Goku just gave you an out. Yeah. So, Yamcha, you want to train with us? Huh? Oh, no thanks, I'll pass. I hate to admit it, but I don't think I can keep up with you guys anymore. Hey, I know. Why don't we just off that Dr. Jiro now so he doesn't even make the androids? Uh, sorry, Bulma. But to be completely honest right now, I really wouldn't mind fighting them. Besides, he hasn't even created them yet, so it's not like we can really beat him up. He hasn't done anything. Uh, he was part of the Red Ribbon Army, so yeah. Unbelievable. This can't be good. Oh, uh, I won't go easy on you. Mr. Piccolo's pretty strict, you know. Ha! I'm counting on that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you come along and train with us? Yeah, sorry, but I'm more comfortable training here at my own pace with Master Roshi. I'm looking forward to it. I'm eager to join the fight and put my training to the test against these androids. All right. I'm going to do my best to help Tian with his training. I'm sure you fucking well are. Oh, hang on. There's freezer ships here, and... Okay, let's destroy these, and then... Yeah. I might do some of the uh, training there off-stream, so that uh, it doesn't take up too much time on-stream. Might cause some trouble, lady. Best to deal with this now. Guess we uh, stranded some warriors here on Earth. Oh, I just lazily moved to the left. Dead. So we're gonna blow up these things here before the end of stream and then uh, do some community board stuff and then I'll save and be done for today. That was a good workout. Sugary cupcake. Ah, oh, I love this curvature. This building that looks like a bulbous penis. Uh, that's completely the wrong way. Oh. I was like, why don't I, why do I, don't I see this tower in the distance? Oh, that's why, because it's not in that direction. I'm the best at this. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. There's our tower. I should take a significant amount of time to get here. This world is pretty big. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this. I gotta change Gohan's support ability, though. Since he's got the Super Masenko, I might as well have him use it. No point in having him use Masenko. Impact Shrike. Guided Kamehameha. Interesting. I kind of want that. Okay. 
Let's fly through this rock. Yeah. Where's the last muscle tower? Okay. And this will take us right over to both of them. And get me a couple of those orbs. Lot of energy. So it's kinda worth it. I can tell this thing's got lots of energy. Whoa! Get a load of this lake! No, I don't want to. Where the fuck is it? There we go. Destruction! I hit paper and knocked him out. Just killed him outright. Tien does the smart thing though. Uh, Trife and leaves uh, leaves uh, Chao Su out of it. I think there are fish here. Bet they taste great. Tien's like, you're a weakling. Get out of here. There you go. Yeah, that seems all right. Okay, so let's go and do our community board. Alright, Vegeta, you're capped on that, but we can raise training at least, I think. Just got someone new, I think. Yeah, trunks. Put him there. I'm gonna give him the uh, super ultimate awakening water here. There you go. Puts him up to friendship. There you go. Cool, that puts us up uh, closer to another bonus. Alright, peel off, what are you at? Let's go with my instead. There we go. He needs two for God, dude. That gives plus four. Damn. He needs three. Lastly, adventure. Guru, have a silver compass, dude. There we go. He's close. You get some awakening water too soon. We got, actually, we will get awakening water. There you go. We made friends with Guru. I may as well give him the awakening water since that'll max him out on, uh, on there. There we go. Make good use of it, I think. Okay, Arena, hello, we're just about done for today. I was just getting some stuff here done before we're done uh, stream. Continent center area has been unlocked. King Kai's planet area has been unlocked. That was a side quest there. Okay, so we got some side quests that we can do. We can go get the Dragon Balls. So here's what we'll do. Um, I'll go to West City. I'll get the Dragon Ball, and I will save. How you doing? Are you excited for the weekend, though? 
With Goku now back on Earth, the mysterious young man speaks, asks to speak with, to, with him in private. He reveals his name to be Trunks and explains that he's come from the, to the, uh, from the future to war, warn of a deadly threat that will appear in three years' time. I can read, I promise. I don't know what the hell happened there. My brain was not following words. What you've got planned for this weekend? This is a side quest. We're not going to do the side quest. Yeah, it's easy to find Bulma's place. Just look for the biggest house. Yeah. Okay, so the Dragon Ball. There's two on this map. Okay, we'll get both of them. What do you got planned? What you got going on? Okay, flew right past it. That's not good. It's over here by the lighthouse. So I, I may collect these off stream, and then on stream on Monday, we'll uh, summon back uh, Nap Nappa. How be the Black Trife wants to fight you, Omega. That windmill's huge. I don't oh. need to head over there. All right. Dragon Ball should be somewhere up here. Oh, it's actually a fair distance away. All right. <laughs> we got a keeper. I'll make quick work of you. Oh, okay. I'll oh, have the angel. All right. <laughs> Defeated. Look at that 8,000 EXP. Anyway, we're here for a Dragon Ball. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay, so, now we got that, this is a good time to save our game, but... I don't find a training spot. Alright, over by the lighthouse again. Good. Okay, so, we're gonna go ahead and save our game, and that's where we'll be done for today. We got some good stuff done today. We beat up Frieza, took him down for sure, did some intermission side quests, and now we got some more side quests before we continue on. So, let me stop that recording.